In today's video, we will continue talking about key issues of comic books that are trending for summer 2020. Right here, right now, coming at ya. Hello to all of my summer loving geeks, Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Last week, we posted a video that went over some of the hottest key issues of comic books that are trending for summer 2020. Well, in that video, we didn't quite get through all the books that I wanted to talk about, so we're going to continue talking about trending issues of comic books right now. Before we dive into some of those sizzling hot issues for summer 2020, just wanted to remind everybody to please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like, because all subscribers will be automatically entered to win one of many fabulous comic book prizes once the channel reaches 10,000 subscribers. And also, of course, please check out the new Overhauled merch store. We have a bunch of fabulous new geeky designs that are ready for your eyes to feast on them. The link to the merch store is in the description. And today's featured design is, it's a trap, bazoid. Does anyone actually know what Admiral Akbar's species is called in Star Wars? I'll give you a hint. It's also a type of fried fish that is very, very, delicious. If you guessed Mon Calamari, you are absolutely right. Well, this Mon Calamari here is good not only at identifying traps, but also shapes. This cool design and many others just like it are available at the merch store right now. It's a trap! So with all that out of the way, let's get right into our video. I have to admit, just like last week, the books on this week's list some of them, frankly, really surprised me, and some of them I didn't even really know about. Starting with our first book, which was a surprise to me, and that is Batman Movie Number 1. This is a comic book adaptation of the 1989 Batman movie starring Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. Uh, I have to admit, these types of books I usually ignore. I always ignore comic book adaptations, and I always ignore novelizations. Uh, of, of movies just it, it's just my personal preference I know some people really really eat them up but uh, I was really surprised to see this one on the list and I didn't really understand what the hype was, was about but apparently Michael Keaton is supposed to be making a comeback as Batman as an older version of Batman in an upcoming Flash movie when I read about this I was like wow it actually will be kind of cool to see Michael Keaton put the bat suit back on so that definitely explains why this book is currently a hot commodity. Good news for all you collectors out there. If you are looking to add this book to your collection, it's actually not that expensive right now. Prices I found for this book ranged anywhere between two and $30, depending obviously on condition. Flashpoint number one, and this is actually a relatively new comic book. It came out around 2010, 2011, something like that. And uh, for those of you that don't know this comic book, this is the book that started the whole New 52 thing. So DC did this story, and then afterwards, due to the events that happened in this book, the hype around this book is probably, you guessed it, due to the new Flash movie that is slated for release in June 2022. Uh, this book also happens to be the first appearance of Thomas Wayne as Batman. Yeah, obviously he's, he's a Batman from an, an alternate universe. The Thomas Wayne Batman also makes an appearance in the Convergence run in this particular issue here. This book might be worth picking up too, but it currently, there isn't a lot of hype around this book, mainly because it's still relatively new. And uh, this series here, from what I can remember, didn't really get the greatest reviews. I personally liked it, but uh, I know a lot of people out there kind of roasted it. So as I mentioned with our previous book, Michael Keaton is supposed to be making an appearance as Batman, but he will be the Thomas Wayne Batman in the Flash 2022 movie. Also, it is rumored that the Flash movie that will be coming out will have a story that is closely related to that in this book here. If you would like to add this book to your collection, I found prices ranging anywhere from three to $40. Of course, all prices are estimated. If you actually go on eBay, you might see these books priced for a lot higher. And for those of you out there that are more comic book readers than comic book collectors, the reader's pick for this book is 
the Flashpoint graphic novel. This collects all the issues in the Flashpoint series. If you'd like to pick this book up, I highly recommend it. You can pick it up by following the link in the description. Uncanny X-Men number 193. This is the first appearance of Firestar in regular Marvel continuity. Now the hype around this book obviously is due to the fact that it is rumored that Firestar will be making an MCU appearance. Now if you'd like to add this book to your collection, you can find this book for around $20 to $30. And the Firestar goodness continues in our next book, which is Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends number one. This is actually the very first appearance of Firestar, and as mentioned, there are rumors that Firestar will be making an MCU appearance. The next book on our list is a very new book, and that is Thor number five, which is the first appearance of Black Winter. If you're looking to add this book to your collection, it is currently around $15 to $20. And if you don't want to dish out all that cash for just one book, never fear, the reader's pick for this issue is Thor by Donny Cates, Volume 1, The Devourer King. This trade paperback is not has not yet been released, but it is slated for November 17th release. You can follow the link in the description and reserve your very own copy today. Immortal Hulk number 12. I freaking love Immortal Hulk. I actually just started reading Immortal Hulk and I have to say it is one bad book and I mean bad in a good way. Immortal Hulk number 12 is the first appearance of One Below All and the hype around this book is in September Marvel is releasing a one-shot book explaining the relationship between Brian Banner which is the father of Bruce Banner and One Below All. Current prices for this book range anywhere between $20 and $30. But of course, if you don't want to dish out all that cash for just one book, I highly recommend the Reader's Pick, which is Immortal Hulk Volume 2, which includes this particular issue. But I also highly recommend Immortal Hulk Volume 1. Immortal Hulk, for me, I've read the first 10 issues recently, and it, it's just awesome. Stellar, stellar work. It's probably one of the best comic book stories that has been written in a really, really long time. I'm actually a really huge Incredible Hulk fan. I have a lot of Incredible Hulk comics, but in recent years, last 10 years or so, I have to say, Hulk has been really mediocre. Like the Hulk titles, for the most part, have really stunk. Like Invincible Hulk was was crappy. Um, the, the Incredible Hulk by Jason Aaron started off good, but it just, it was really rushed at the end because I think they were just doing a relaunch anyway, so. When I finally started reading this, of course I'm reading it digitally, but when I started reading this, I was just like, finally, Hulk is getting the respect he deserves. Secret War number one. No, 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 not Secret Wars number one. Secret War, singular. There's only one war here. And this is the first appearance of Lucia von Bardas, who is the successor of Dr. Doom in Latveria. And the hype all around this book is there is a rumor that uh, Lucia von Bardas will be making an appearance in the MCU and uh, she will be the one to introduce Latveria in the MCU. This book currently is not that expensive. You can actually probably still pick it up for under $10.00. But if you're looking for the complete story, I suggest the reader's pick, which is the Secret War trade paperback. And this particular trade paperback is by Brian Michael Bendis. It's a story from 2004. It's great. Check it out. Link is in the description. Avengers number 684. This is the origin of Voyager. And there is also a revelation in this book that the Hulk is immortal. So basically, Technically, this is the first appearance of the Immortal Hulk, and I bet you can guess what all the hype is over this book. The Immortal Hulk has been a stellar, popular title at Marvel, so anything predating that that kind of ties into Immortal Hulk obviously is going to be a collectible book. Currently, this book is going for under $50. It's in and around the $50 range, uh, but if you're not looking to spend that amount of cash, on that book, I would suggest the reader's pick, 
which is Avengers No Surrender by Al Ewing. And Al Ewing is also the author on The Immortal Hulk. Brilliant writer, awesome work, check it out. Link is in the description. The next book on our list is actually one of my favorites. It's a book that I've spoken about many times in the past, and that is Alpha Flight number one. Great book from the 1980s. This is not the first appearance of Alpha Flight, but it is the first appearance of many characters that are within Alpha Flight, like Madison Jeffries, Puck, and Marina, just to name a few. This book here, I have to say, is highly, highly underrated. It's probably, in my opinion, one of the most underrated books of the 1980s. Currently, you could pick this number one up for under $20, but of course, if you want a complete story, I highly suggest picking up the reader's pick, which is X-Men slash Alpha Flight, which is still in, in print. Um, this f uh, features the first few issues of the Alpha Flight solo series, but it also features their first appearances in Uncanny X-Men 120 and 121. Donny Cates, Thor number four. If Thor number five was the first appearance of Black Winter, then obviously this is the first cameo appearance of Black Winter. Definitely a book worth picking up, and you should be able to pick it up for under $20. Of course, if you want the complete story, already mentioned, pick up Thor by Donny Cates, Volume 1, The Devourer King. Not out yet, but you could reserve your own copy by following the link in the description. The book is expected to be released on November 17th, 2020. Alpha Flight number one was on the list, so clearly I'm going to recommend that you pick up their first appearance if you can. That is Uncanny X-Men number 121, but I also recommend Uncanny X-Men number 120, which is their first cameo appearance. Now, all the hype over Alpha Flight currently is because uh, Alpha Flight is rumored to make an MCU appearance. Technically, they already kind of made an MCU appearance. Well, it's actually more of an Easter egg appearance. I really hope that all of you caught the Alpha Flight Easter egg in Deadpool 2. Did you see it? You had to have seen it, right? Their first appearance is currently in the $100 to $150 range, but of course, if you just would like to read their story, pick up the reader's pick, which once again is X-Men slash Alpha Flight. Trade paperback, link, you know where it is. Just go click on it, pick it up if you want. Tales of Suspense, number 94. This is the first appearance of MODOK, and that's actually an acronym. MODOK stands for, ready for it, ready for it, Mechanized Organism Designed Only for Killing. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I, I, I had to read that before I actually said that in camera. Hype around this book is MODOK is actually supposed to make an appearance in an Avengers video game that is upcoming, I think sometime in the fall. You want to pick this book up. It is actually a little bit expensive. It is currently in the $200 to $400 range, depending on condition. Now, again, those are ballpark prices. Uh, what is on eBay could be vastly different than what I'm stating, but uh, that's what most of my research has concluded. Next book on our list is another one of my favorites and actually super, super underrated. If there's any book on this list that you're going to pick up today, it's going to be this one. And that is Batman number 436. Uh, this is the first appearance of Tim Drake, and it is one of the issues that makes up the Batman Year 3 storyline. Uh, this book is pretty cheap. You probably still could pick it up for under 10 bucks. I don't know why it is so cheap right now. I mean, yeah, Tim Drake isn't the most beloved Robin. He's probably not the most beloved character by any means, but it is a first appearance of a Robin, and this book is over 30 years old now. So, uh... The reason why it's under $10 still kind of eludes me. People are speculating that this book will be collectible because Tim Drake may be making an appearance in Matt Reeves' is Batman film. I don't think that's been confirmed yet, but uh, I've been reading some rumors that were circling, circling around the dark web. If you'd like the complete story, I would highly recommend picking up the reader's pick for this, which is Batman the C Caped Crusader volume Two, I actually have this book in my own collection and I absolutely love it. 
follow the link in the description and you can pick up your own copy too. Doom Patrol number 92, this is the first appearance of Dr. Time. Hype around this book is because Dr. Time is making an appearance in Doom Patrol, the television show, season two. If you're looking to add this book to your collection, you can expect to spend anywhere between $100 to $150. And some other books that currently have some speculator status are Spider-Man 2099, number one. This pick was submitted by Louis Feku of Studio Fitness, who's a longtime subscriber to the show and was a guest on our Friday Night Geek show uh, not too long ago. I guess there's some speculation that Spider-Man 2099 will be also making some sort of film appearance as well. And don't forget Spider-Man Unlimited number one. I believe this is the first appearance of Maximum Carnage. This book I actually was reminded of when I was having a conversation uh, with another collector online that is Sentinel Collections, who is based out of Columbia, who also will be uh, a guest on our Friday Night Geek show uh, in a few weeks time. Shout out to both of those wonderful viewers. That about does it for our video today. Really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If there are any other books that you feel are really hyped about right now that deserve a mention, please let me know in the comments. I always love, love hearing from you. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.